I am the body snatcher. You know we love tummy tucks on this show. Welcome back to Mmmbox. Welcome back, loyal fight fans. Another round of Mmmbox and coming your way. Second episode of the week right here. Um... Listen, this podcast is something I've definitely committed myself to. I will be here for you guys, and if you appreciate uh, the content coming your way via me, uh, you appreciate the picks, the breakdowns, uh, the humor, the whatever, um, I would greatly appreciate the thumbs up button and hitting that subscribe button, of course, if you haven't already. I don't know what we're waiting for. Um Today, we are here to discuss the George Cambosis versus Devin Haney fight taking place in Australia this coming Saturday. Um, Who isn't waiting for this one? First and foremost, well, I want to say this. As I've said more recently before, too, is 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 boxing is just great right now. Okay, it really is. And, uh, you know, this is this fight specifically um, is in one of the greatest weight classes in boxing, one of the most stacked divisions at 135 pounds lightweight uh, with the likes of Lomachenko, Tink Davis, Ryan Garcia, and now we get another two of those very uh, elite fighters fighting one another in Cambosis Haney. But there's a lot to go over for this fight, so let's jump right in. Um, we're, we're getting one of these great uh, great versus great uh, fights here. Now, I, of course, as many of you, if you're actually a boxing fan, uh, you should know Devin Haney, this is his fight to win or lose. Uh, Devin Haney's a, a, very, a, a very slick defensive fighter, um, very sharp, proficient uh, jabbing from him, held jab down to the body. He knows how to fight long. He knows how to move his head. He knows how to use uh, the ring well. <clears throat> George Kimbosis, a little bit more of a brute. George can find the counter. He does have boxing IQ. He's not like some other fighters that might be fan friendly, like he is. He's very fan friendly fighter. Um, he he does he does have a couple tricks up his sleeve in there in the ring, um, whereas whereas other guys that fight kind of uh, in a in a in a walk you down style uh, do not. Now George Cambosis, you know, might get tore up in this fight by the jab. He likes to leave his head exposed. Um, you know, his, sometimes even his hands are down. Uh, a a bit like this and not up tight by his chin and he likes to kind of put his put his uh his 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 head and his chin uh out over you know his front foot um and and kind of leans on that front foot with his head out so i i would see him getting kind of jabbed to death all night that being said he is very tough um it's not going to be easy for for Haney to stop this guy. Now George Cambos is famous now for pulling off that enormous Tiafimo Lopez upset um, when he was just supposed to be a mandatory that nobody ever heard of. Uh, so the guys forever won me over. I'm a big fan of George Cambosis, but we got to be real here. Uh, the way that the fight looks, the style of fighting, it's different. No one thought, and that's myself included. I, I did have a friend, and shout out to him, um, who comes to my work sometimes and we talk boxing. A younger kid, actually, who 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 said, you know, I really think Cambosis can do it before that T.O. fight. So shout the fuck out to him. But nobody, else, I mean, nobody really thought that that, that could happen until it did. That being said, you know, Tiafimo Lopez in that fight was was really more overly aggressive. He he came in too hot. He came in too hot and he got dropped for it in the first round. Um, and but but regardless, if he fought a more uh, you know, stuck to a game plan more. If he didn't come in so fired up and fighting with his emotions, which you're not supposed to do, um, still it. 
it, it would be an interesting matchup. Seeing what we've already seen from George Cambosis in that fight, uh, he is a great fighter. Um, but but that matchup is still different. Like Tio still might be favored if they ever rematched, you know, and had that fight again. Might still be favored, but only slight, not not like it was before. And the thing about Teofimo Lopez is he hits hard, uh, and he's very athletic. And he'll cut angle, but he's an aggressor. He likes to be aggressive, and George Cambosis likes to be aggressive. And so that's kind of what that style of, of fight was. This fight with Devin Haney is a guy who's going to just make George miss a lot. He's going to make George miss a lot. He's not as aggressive. Um, he's going to be planning, plotting, using the ring, and winning rounds in there. Now, that being said, um, I do have some notes to go over here. For, for one... What I don't like is that originally this contract was fight in Australia, which is good because George Cambosis absolutely deserves that. Um, but then they, they put him, well, if he loses, give him not only the rematch, but also again in Australia. That's a little iffy, but whatever. We want to see the fight. Now Devin Haney's father is not uh, his, his father and coach and trainer. Uh, is not allowed in the country. So Devin's going over there on, on his own uh, to try to take back all these belts. And, uh, you know, a, another thing that was specifically in the contract, and I had seen this, is that there were supposed to be neutral judging. So if they had a judge from Australia, they would have an American judge as well. And then they would have a neutral country, a uh, judge from a neutral country. And that only seems fair. And even that would still make it iffy because the judging today absolutely sucks. But that was the best they could plan for. Now I'm hearing there are no American judges as well. So this just keeps piling up uh, against Devin Haney. Now George will need all that help. He'll need all that help. Um... He'll need a bit of a robbery. Like I said, he's tough, and he won't give up. Uh, he's not deterred. You know, he 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 does have a warrior spirit. It doesn't matter if you like him or not. This is just the truth, and he won't be deterred. So he will have some success in this fight, uh, but I see him losing, you know, about nine of these 12 rounds, you know, um, bare minimum eight. Eight to four is bare minimum how this fight should play out. This fight should go the distance. I like Devin Haney to win very much by decision, um, to be precise here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to see how that shakes out because now we got, you know, no American judges over there. We're in a, you know, it's it's a it's a, a country that's very proud of Cambosis as they should be, um, and bringing all the belts back there to fight in Australia in Marvel Stadium. Uh, but yeah, Cambosis leaving his head over his front leg, leaning leaning over his lead leg, and leaving that chin up over his knee, over his front foot. Uh, that's not good to, to, to you know, for uh, that is good for, for Devin Haney to just jab his face off all night. Um, Devin Haney also mix up the, the jab, stiff jab and fighting long, you know, stiff jab sticks it way out there and then goes down to the body, goes down to the body again. And he's just very slick. Then when you try to, you know, when you try to break that range and get in on him, um, he has the head movement. He has the slick defense to do what it takes there to get back out, put the fight back on his own terms. He'll just constantly be resetting like that, resetting his feet to the range that he likes. Um, George will come in and uh, maybe get hit for it as well, but he'll 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 try to land some shots. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Regardless, Haney will tie him up a bit. Haney will push him back, get the distance he likes, reset, reset, reset all night long. Um, and yeah, I like Devin Haney winning by decision, but who who the hell knows at this point? Now, uh, you know, another thing to 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 say is that uh, Cambosis can have a little bit of success with the overhand. The overhand, uh, because Devin's a head mover kind of guy. And so um, when the overhand comes in, he'll never sway into it because he is very slick. So he'll see, but you don't exactly know what's a hook, what's an overhand. Uh, and so you'll move his head off like this. 
like a show like to shoulder bump like a philly shell mayweather kind of deal because you can deal with hooks like that all day long but the overhand isn't on a uh a, 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 a you know a direct path coming across you the overhand is on an angle coming up and and aiming down and devin haney has been hit by this before devin haney has been hurt by this punch before uh this is the punch that uh you know um George Cambosis will need, I think, uh, is the overhand if he has some good success. Certainly, if he's ever able to drop Haney in this fight, which I, I don't think is that likely, but if he does, I think it'll come from that overhand. I think this will be a hell of a fight, um, and uh, it, it, and it's kind of and it's kind of cool that that we're getting to start to see some of these fights. I think as well. I think it should be appreciated uh, that in one of the greatest divisions, we're going to get some of these guys in against each other. Uh, and and the last thing I'll say on that kind of note uh, about how boxing's getting good like that. You know, I, I'm like you. I'm not. I'm not so much of a fan of the of the build uh, your fighter up so so much. Where everybody's like, "All right, man. You know, we're 15, 16 fights in. I want to see him fight this guy or this guy." And it's just never those guys. Uh, nobody likes that. But I will say, you know, this is a big deal. Not only because we're getting this fight, but also because even in this kind of a little bit broken system of boxing. It doesn't work in a way like do that and then you get one of these fights. You can't really go back down. I mean, sometimes they make you take a mandatory, but then you got to shoot back up. We we are going to start to see these guys fighting each other. Personally, for me, I think Devin Haney wins this fight. Um, they already have a rematch clause, so so then they'll have to do it again. But while they're doing that, and that's like in the whole next year, you know, uh, uh, of time frame there. And so while that time is being taken up, no doubt, uh, you know, Tank Davis being a free agent now and, and off of Mayweather promotions will help him be able to move around and navigate these promotional bodies to make fights that, that he wants that are big money. And everybody wants to see, you know, him versus Ryan Garcia. Everybody wants to see, you know, my dream matchup, uh, uh, Tank Davis versus Vasily Lomachenko. Um, there's a lot of great fights to be made, and we're going to start seeing them because some of those guys are going to be held up by a guaranteed two-fight series with Haney and Cambosis that we have now. It's a guaranteed two-fight series because there's a rematch clause in the contract. So these other top guys are going to want, you know, they all want a shot at that, of, of all of those belts. I mean, they're all held up there, and no one else has a real one. They have secondary ones, um, but nobody else has any of those real belts, so they all want that, but as they're held up for, for a two-fight series, stretching out uh, possibly even over a year, I would bet you that we'll see a really good fight between, like, Tank and Garcia, or, or uh, you know, so, so, something along those lines while we're also seeing this other fight. Once these two fights get sorted out, somebody's left with all the belts and not a, a known opponent, then we're going to see, you know, Tank or Ryan or or just anybody. We're going to see these people uh, back in the mix. Um, Tiafimo Lopez, I've left him out because I believe he's moving up to 140 pounds. Yeah, I don't think he'll be back down to 135 He's a big guy, really had to cut a lot of weight to get down there. Um, I think he'll be better suited at 140. And coming off the loss of losing all the belts, I mean, why wouldn't you just do it now since he couldn't secure the rematch? Uh, but yeah, until next time, loyal fight fans, enjoy these fights. And you got two more episodes coming up from your boy because we're making small segments dedicated to one fight at a time in one of the biggest uh, weeks and weekends of uh, combat sports. Uh, we'll see you next time.